Hey there guys, Pellafort here with uh, another episode of my Fire Emblem Let's Play. Um, back from the lake house now, and we're going to start Ella Wood's story. So this is a year after Lynn's story has happened, and basically now we're following Ella Wood. You'll see him, he has red hair, and no, this is not Roy from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Roy is Ellawood's son, and he comes from the Fire Emblem before this. It's a Japanese-only Fire Emblem, and it's a sequel. It's like, it's a, technically, this is a prequel to the Fire Emblem with Roy in it, because that one with Roy for the Game Boy is the sixth Fire Emblem, and then this one is the seventh, but it's the first to be it's the first to be released in the US. So now this is what Americans refer to as Fire Emblem and then this you get what I'm saying. So there's Elwood's dad, Roy's grandpa, and Marquis Ferre. He goes missing. That's Ella Wood right there. He looks kind of like Roy. A bit more mature because Roy's like... Shit. Roy is seriously like... 10. And then we have here... Marcus. Every Fire Emblem has a character... That's Ella Wood's mother. Um, every Fire Emblem game has a character like Marcus which I will refer to as a Jigen if I do another Fire Emblem game. Um, Jigens are pre-premotes. They're already promoted, but um, they don't have a good base stat pull. Like, you can see how having Elowood a level 1 in his first class, leveling him all the way up till 20, then promoting him and leveling up him all the way to 20 again, is beneficial but Marcus will get to his final level much weaker but to new players he has the perception of being a really good character because at first he just dominates everybody but like the last few chapters he'll suck so now we are starting to be serious we have Lowen who's basically just another Kent and then we also see, um, oh, it's me. I'm his, um, tactician for no from now on. Ah, Coke Zero. All right, here, a shout-out. Um, because I received a fellow shout-out from him, I would like to give Crozier5961 a shout-out. He is just an upstart Let's Player. I think he started from the upload dates on his video, just, I don't know, maybe um, not even two weeks ago. But he already, he's already almost done with Zelda. He's pretty dedicated. He, he narrates really well. I've seen some of his videos. He's doing um, Ocarina of Time, albeit it's overplayed, say what you will. My first Let's Play was overplayed. What can I say? Um, check him out. Um, I'd like to do this. Just get fellow unknown Let's Players. Uh, you know, help them out. It's a, it's a community here we're running. So, here we have Dorcas and Bartray. As I said earlier, I prefer Bartray much more. He is a brawny character, but I like that, you know, unit. Woo! Rebecca. Rebecca's a pretty good archer, but I like Will. Will's perfectly fine. Ah. 
get him, Dorcas, even though I don't want to use you. And then we'll have Marcus come here. Okay, cool. Now, Marcus will be our temporary village runner. He gives us a dragon shield, which is like the energy ring that we saw in the last video. But this will raise our defense of one character by two points. Uh, actually pretty handy for some units such as Bartre. As you see, his defense is a measly four as compared to someone like Lowen, who's the same level and has seven. Let's trade it up. And it's good to use it on a character like Bartre, who will be in the fray a lot. As you can see, Ellawood rapes. And once again, that is not Roy. Um, he has the rapier. This is a sword like Lin's Manikati that only he can use. It's pretty strong. And furthermore, um, it is also effective against cavalry and knights. So I like it. Lowen will get there. Penetrable seawall. And then Dorcas brings up the rear because I don't really want to use him. I want to use Bartre. Get him! Bartre. Check that out. His axe does a lot of damage. And um, I'll get more into the promotion stuff later. It's, if you've played Sacred Stones, but not this, I don't know why that would be your story. Um, you're probably used to the branching system if you played Path of Radiance and not this, which I could actually see a lot easier. Um, well, you're probably used to like automatically promoting class, which doesn't happen. You have to have an item to do it, unlike where you can get level up once you're at level 20 of your first class to do it and if you've played the Wii version which um, the sequel to Path of Radiance which I have never played which I could see that too because there's a lot of yin Wii about um, I don't know how that works actually so I can't tell you anything but I think that introduced a um, third tier like I could promote even past the second rank class like see Marcus, his class is a paladin. Lowen, if I used a knight's crest on him, would become a paladin. But in Fire Emblem, the Wii one, sequel to Path of Radiance, I forgot what it's called, um, he, a paladin could promote him again. I don't know what to. Dorcas, level up. Yes. Get him, Elwood. Actually, don't get him. Wait. Ah, chafing. Ah. So, um, my narration on Lynn's story was subpar because I was with my friends when I did it. Oh, well. Can't blame me. Um... But yeah, they they had to say, shut the fuck up, every single time I started. So, that's that. Now my narration will be pretty solid, I'd like to say. Lacking of any filth. Critical hit. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I did because Wrath got it, but critical hit is three times the amount of damage. All right. Um, so yes, it starts out with um, one. Um, okay. Just as Lynn was half Sakai in the Native American tribe Plain Folk, and half Lycian 
she was of the house of Kaelin. Um, Salen, if you want to know. Um, Elwood is the prince of Faray, which is a fellow kingdom in the Lycian League. Um, there is a guy, the Marquis of Laos, which is declaring war on him. So Elwood's going to the Marcus Marquis, I always said Marquis, Marcus as a kid, of Ostia, who's his best friend's older brother. So that's where we're going to. And um, Elwood's father's gone. We gotta find him. And you'll see the story turns into something bigger. Okay, so that's all for now. Um, once again, it's no big surprise that more people are joining our party. We'll get some new people, a lot of people, really quickly. But see you later, guys. This is Pelofort.